Okay, I have been at home editing all day because I'm trying to catch up on all these videos that I haven't posted since I moved, but we're actually gonna go out for some dessert. We're gonna go to a little dessert cafe and I decided might as well dress up, right? I'm wearing my Aritzia Sculpt Knit Tank and then these pants are from Zara. I fell in love with these pants so much that I got them in both the beige and the black color and I got them hemmed because they were definitely way too long for me. They're pretty comfortable. They don't fit too tightly on the waist so I can wear these out and eat. And then I love that they're just like a little bit of a wider straight leg. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing these block heeled sandals that I got from Lulu's I believe. They have a little bit of like a tortoise pattern that is really cute. Don't mind my outgrown toenail polish. Yeah, we're just gonna go walk over and have some little desserts. You're gone now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact Yeah, I know that, mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places I hope it means that you come home I changed into something comfier and please excuse the mess that's my closet right now but now it is Sunday and we're gonna do a weekly clean of the apartment we just moved in a week ago but it's time to get started I've been wanting to start like a weekly cleaning schedule just because it'll make things easier in the long run and yeah there's a lot to do so let's get started date night outfit of the night we're gonna go get some ramen for dinner and i decided to go for comfort i'm wearing a nice loose billowy dress this is my first time trying the like whole wrap a sweater around your shoulders i don't actually know if i'm doing it right been really fun dressing up for new york so far i feel like i've just been wearing so many outfits that I never would have reached for back in California for whatever reason. I just feel like it was always so cold there. So yeah, busting out the dress and excited to eat some good food. Hello again. I'm doing a pretty bad job with vlogging this week, but I'm gonna go head out and finally try Levain Bakery and get their cookies. This is my simple fit today. These are some new shorts from H&M that you can't see that well right now because it's pretty dark but they're like these tailored pleated Bermuda shorts and I really love them they're super comfortable and they could be like a little bit shorter on me but I don't know if I'm gonna go through the hassle of getting them hemmed I have a bunch of welts all over my body because a mosquito got into our apartment and we were dumb enough to go to sleep without killing it and of course we woke up with a bunch of mosquito bites so yeah i will update you guys more later but for now we're gonna head out and get some cookies <music> mess in the back but i just rolled out this rug that i purchased i ordered it from target it's not one of the like in-house target brands but they carry this rug that was really affordable and i purchased like a i think this is maybe a five by three rug just to see if i would like it in person and it's not bad it's not quite an ivory it's more of like a beige with some like tan running throughout it but it does still brighten up the space and my plan was to get a really large rug like a 9 by 12 that would connect the couch and the dining area the chair is here right now because that's the only furniture that we have but i think it looks pretty nice on top the dining table is going to be black this material is pretty nice it feels 
very durable. It's not like the softest material, but I think this is meant to be like an indoor or an outdoor rug. So that's pretty nice because this would definitely be a super high traffic area. I think this is a pretty good option because getting a nine by 12 rug would cost like hundreds of dollars. And this one was a really nice affordable option. Finally got our Ikea order today. And this isn't all the boxes, but for anyone who lives in a large building, make sure you get the details on your certificate of insurance when you get furniture delivered. We had some issues with ours and we had to carry all this furniture to our apartment, but hopefully everything's in good condition. And I'm very excited to have some more furniture. The apartment is starting to look a little bit cuter. I finally moved this desk into this bedroom and I feel like it just looks super cute here with the little lamp even though that light bulb is annoying. Now I'm going to get started putting together the dresser. My boyfriend already started putting together some of the drawers but now we need to put the frame together so that we have a place to put the drawers. Approximately five hours later, we have the dresser. I think it looks really good. I went with the like light colored wood of the mom dresser and I feel like the color in particular for this dresser makes it look a lot more expensive than the like white or the black color that they offer. Trader Joe's didn't have the best selection of peonies so I had to get one where they were all mostly bloomed but this one bloomed this morning. It's looking so pretty. Finally got some new skincare in the mail. I placed this order at Derm Store because I wanted to finally try the La Roche-Posay Tolerain Sensitive Fluid Moisturizer and they don't sell this at most places. Like they don't carry it at all the places that sell La Roche-Posay. And let's take a look. It looks really small. It's 40 milliliters. 1.35 fluid ounces. I feel like that's definitely smaller than most moisturizers, so I'm probably gonna go through this really quickly, but I'm excited to finally try it. I went through my Malaysia moisturizer really quickly, and I kind of just wanted to try something a little bit simpler and lighter weight, especially since it's so humid here. Um, I feel like my skin definitely doesn't need anything too heavy. So this feels nice. It's definitely super duper lightweight. And then I also picked up some Indie Lee Squalane Oil. I don't know if I packed the one that I got from The Ordinary. And it's been a while since I've used Squalane Oil. Figured if this isn't moisturizing enough, then it might be good to pair this with it. And this is a tiny little travel size bottle, but this packaging feels very nice. It's definitely more of like a pricier Squalane Oil, but It'll be nice to try something different. And then lastly, I picked up another one of these Aven Thermal Spring Water. This is a huge bottle. It's definitely bigger than the other one that I have. It has a super fine mist and just feels so nice. I've kind of been liking layering, like spraying something like this and then layering something with hyaluronic acid on it. I feel like those like light layers of hydration work really well for me. I haven't been doing it as much here because like I said, the weather has been very humid and hot but I always really like having this, so I just picked up a backup. set is finally complete and I'm so happy with how it looks. I picked up these flowers yesterday from a market and then I also paired my little mud witch vase or cup here because it just matched the colors perfectly with the yellow and the lavender. This just makes me so happy. I feel like my vision is starting to finally come alive and sometimes your vision doesn't work out but things are looking good. We just have a couple more boxes left and things to organize but we are finally making some good progress. Oh, and the dining table is from Ikea. I'm really happy with the black. It definitely shows like every little 
piece of dust and stuff so you have to clean it often but I think that'll just help make sure that I clean it frequently and take care of it and then these dining chairs I got mine from Amazon because it was the only place that had them in stock but other places like Overstock and Wayfair also sell these chairs I think the the brand or the make is um, by Christopher Knight I got the ones with like the beige -ish gray cushions and they're like the perfect neutral gray in my opinion I think it looks really nice in here that had a little bit of like a rustic kind of look to it and I think that'd be really cute as a side table. I've definitely seen them a lot on Pinterest and stuff but it was pretty hard to find what I was looking for online but I follow Goodies LA on Instagram and everything at that store is $25 or under. And they were selling this stool for only $25 so because my parents are so kind and are willing to go to the store for me they picked me up a stool and shipped it to me. I just filmed a sit down video for the first time in forever so stay tuned by the time this video is up my may slash june favorite should definitely already be up but now we're gonna head to flushing today with our friends definitely pretty humid today and hot so i just got this dress from h m and it is just like perfect for days like this where you don't want anything touching you you don't want anything constricting you and it's just super lightweight and easy i'm wearing the new earrings that i got from monica venator is that how you pronounce it but i absolutely love these i think they are the perfect size and i've been looking for something like this for such a long time and then on the bottom i'm wearing my super comfy sandals i actually forgot what brand these are but i think i got them from nordstrom rack maybe but yeah these are just like the most comfortable sandals ever and I bust these out if I'm going to be doing a lot of walking and I don't really want to wear sneakers. Touch and roll, barely touch my phone. Is it too much for you? Is it too much for you? Ropey love me, camera like me. Yeah. I have some one tons with chili oil. And then we got some dun dun mian. These are both from White Bear. Yeah. And then this one, we got 
oolong lemonade from tea teaza and it's good we also got passion fruit green tea from the alley and this one's not as good it's a little syrupy So I decided to invest a little bit more into some nice new bedding, especially since in New York it's so much warmer at night. And I wanted to get some sheets that would be nice and airy and breathable. So I decided to go with a combination of cotton and linen. The term for the cotton sheets is escaping me right now, but I'll put it on the screen. It's not cotton sateen, it's just like the more crisp type of cotton sheet that's a lot more airier and lightweight. So I decided to go with that for the fitted sheet and then um, a set of pillowcases and then I decided to get a set of linen pillowcases and a flat sheet. People have just said that no matter like how good quality your linen is, it still like wears much more easily than cotton if it's on the fitted sheet. So anyway, these cotton sheets are from Riley Home and I really like them so far. They feel really smooth but lightweight and they're not like too crisp and noisy or anything like that. And then I ordered the linen sheets from Cultivert Goods. I went with the color Smoke Gray and it's kind of like a warm gray with like a teeny bit of like a greenish tinge to it. And I do love the color like on its own, but let me show you over here. I feel like I don't love it in this room. I think because my desk is right there and the tone of the wood is just so warm that I feel like it makes the bedding look even more cool toned and they kind of clash a little bit. They do feel like really nice. They definitely feel luxurious. The other option I was considering at Cultivar was more of like a warm tan beige color. Let me know what you guys think, but by the time this video goes up, I'll probably have made some sort of decision. But my goal's still important. Way more than clothes and cars that's important. No more clearance so I can't afford it. What's poor on my life? You deserve what you want for tomorrow. It's another heat wave, guys. I made the mistake of not putting my hair up when I went outside today. I hope everyone is staying safe during this heat wave and climate change, but we picked up our first New York pizza and we went to this place called sauce the other people there were mentioning how this was featured on like some show or something and it was one of the few places that were rated 9 out of 10 so we got an al pastor pizza pepperoni and then this is called the like upside down square slice got quite a few packages here so I figured I might as well do an unboxing. Placed a big order at Target for some stuff and I decided to pick up a sunscreen. I was influenced by Gothamista's latest video that she made on her favorite drugstore body sunscreens and she mentioned this one by Pacifica which is a nice um, physical and chemical hybrid sunscreen. They put a huge sticker right on the front of the label so you can't read anything. But I'm pretty sure this is like a SPF 30, it's described as like a sunscreen milk, which is really cool. I think the texture of this will be really nice. So I pulled off the sticker and this is what it looks like. Okay. I ordered this pearl necklace from AliExpress. The pearls look kind of pink. I really liked this little gold piece right here at the bottom like that's gonna look really cute on maybe i'll put it on why not there we go i'm also trying to order more from smaller businesses so i am i do kind of want to get some like bracelets and rings for the summer this is an exciting package let's open this one up i've been seeing a lot of like checkered things i feel like that is the trend for the spring and summer this year and there was someone in Europe I think who was making her own handmade crocheted checkered bags and they were so cute but it just made a lot more sense for me to order from someone who made them in the US so I found an Etsy seller and 
asked her to make me a bag, so I'm excited to see how it turned out. <gasps> Ooh, it looks good. <sighs> oh my God, how cute. I will link the seller that I got this bag from. She was super nice. I reached out and asked if she could do specifically this like green and cream color combo. And she was so nice and like went out and purchased new green yarn for me. There are a couple of sellers on Etsy who make some really similar bags, but I wanted to go with this seller because she used cotton yarn. So I definitely love how the cotton feels. Okay, next up, I already know what's in this package. I just posted my May and June favorites video. And in that video, I mentioned that Nude Sticks Picante is my new favorite blush because I ordered the mini size. I'm just scared that like I'm gonna run out really quickly and I won't be able to get the color again because it's limited edition. But Nude Sticks heard my prayers and they actually had a really amazing 4th of July sale. I just ordered a full size of Picante. I don't love these tins that Nude Sticks puts everything in. I just feel like I'd rather it just come in recyclable cardboard packaging. Here is Picante in all her glory. Such a beautiful orange red color. Okay, lastly we have a little Zara order. I feel like everyone was shopping the Zara sale, but I am trying to stick to my wish list again. So I just picked up a couple of white button down shirts. I've been looking for one that isn't too oversized, which is surprisingly very hard to find right now. Maybe I will, oh God, this is definitely gonna be too big too long it's also quite a thick material this one looks like a smaller shirt this is promising this one's actually a size large okay i'm gonna try this on in front of the mirror and if there's anything worth showing then i'll take you guys along with me okay i am feeling this look i changed into my sculpt note tank from aritzia and then threw on one of the poplin shirts this one is actually a pretty good fit from Zara. Um, it's a size large, but definitely not an oversized style. It is a little bit big, of course, if I just leave the sleeves like this, but let me try to roll them up. Here is the fit with the sleeves rolled up a bit, which is probably how I would be wearing it most of the time anyway. And I think it, it fits the bill. It's just what I was looking for. I feel like it definitely has less of that lab coat feel because it's not super long and oversized on me. Mm -hmm. 